Like I already messed up. You see, this is what's important. What's going on guys, it is your boy Angry SA Gamer and um, this is just gonna show you guys what the setup is, what I use and how I do what I do because I've been getting a lot of questions on how do I play Cars of Clash on the computer, how do I record everything I do, what is it and so on and so forth. So I've got everything in one screen here for you guys. So usually I've got two screens, one on my left and obviously the one in my front. Then I have my Canon camera over there and I have a webcam too. The Canon is a bit of an issue because I lost the charger. Uh, it's got an independent charger and um, I can't charge anything right now. So, but most of the times I will be using the webcam and I also record my sound separately from Castle Clash, but Oh wow, but I use blue stacks to play Castle Clash and the main reason I use blue stacks is because when you're in game, Nox app player is a good um, Nox app. Wow, <laughs> everything is going wrong. So Nox app player is a good player to have. I'm just going to mute the sound. I'm going to have something else in here. Is a good um, emulator or simulator or emulator. Um, but blue stacks I've found is more stable but it does use more resources so if you can you can go Nox app player. It does work incredibly well. The only thing I found with Nox app player is the zoom. It doesn't always zoom. They don't update for that. Zoom in and out. Um, and also if you want to go full screen on Nox, you can't anymore. It's always a window So it will always look like this. It's got a massive border around it Where with blue stacks you just press that button and it's complete full screen and to get out of it You just go up and click that and you're out and to exit the game. You just do that and There you have it. So that is that I use Adobe Edition to record everything I do and once I'm done recording, I'll just hit file, say export, export file, export that to a mp3 and it goes to my music folder and I'll drag it into Premiere Pro. So I'm going to put that one side and next up I use OBS to record or, or to do all my recordings as it is, in my opinion, probably the best. So I probably need to move that, put it up there. Okay, so how you do this is I've got scene 1 and scene 2. I don't use scene 2. Um, I used to do that during streams, but not anymore. Um, so when you do this, and like I already messed up. You see, this is what's important. When you do this, when you're recording independently on your Adobe Edition, or wherever you're going to record it, you have to make sure that this is muted. Because if you have the game sound that you want to play but record independently and that is not muted, you can have two voices. Then you can't work those things independently. Desktop um, audio is whatever's playing on the desktop that's how loud that's going to be. So I always want to make sure that if I do have desktop audio, and my mic for instance, I'll watch where my voice is most of the time while I'm speaking. That's a high for me. But sometimes I do scream and it goes higher. But that my voice is usually around where it is now, as you can see there. So my desktop audio always needs to be around. Yeah, nothing ha um, higher than that. So otherwise the audio in game is gonna be much higher than anything. So, um, and once you've done, you just press record. And once you've done, you press stop, stop recording. You press file, show recording, it will open the file format or file, wherever that is. Oh, you're probably wondering, hmm, how do you capture? Okay, so you say... Okay, I'll edit this in. So how... how hmm. So how you add screens is you just simply say add, or the plus sign, and um, 
display capture so you could either capture a display click on that and it will give you an option to just capture a certain display and you just enlarge it in here um, let's do this display capture minus that one yes now there's nothing so now I'll go uh, display capture boom add one it's gonna automatically add the one I'm on at the moment so it's gonna say yes and this is the, f the size that it is display two is a different size obviously so display one and say okay or you could do game capture game capture and it will automatically capture the game that you're playing um, game capture I'm just gonna delete that if you want to use green screen I'm here um, where am I at okay let me take away my video let's do this um, video capture device say okay there I am what's up boys and you can see I've got a green screen but I've got some spillage on this side mm hmm see that now okay so it's gonna go in the default settings like this just accept the default settings okay and if you want to make that green screen you click right click on it say filters go to the plus sign chroma key say okay and it's gonna give me the chroma key but now it's a bit difficult difficult but as you can see do you see that small little bit thing over there that's me in gray that is now with no background it's gonna put in whatever is in the background so you can smooth it out let me do let me put this on that side okay um, let me just redo this what is happening with this bloody thing <coughs> see what's happening okay. Yes. okay so now we have me like that I don't know if you guys can see that though I don't know what the hell is going on in this side there we are there I am now okay I'll show you how to sort that out so over here you can smooth it out or do whatever that is I used to get it do we want that green no we don't go a bit more it's too much uh, that's probably still a bit of green but it's because I'm not using the best camera in the world and then you smooth it out blah 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 that is done so now I'm back in the corner where I'm supposed to be and if your video if this is not displaying um, it's probably moved to the back so whatever you need in front like this beautiful face move it to the top boom it will be in front I'm gonna put that that side again um, and then for editing I use Premiere Pro so this is the easiest thing to do in the world so um, just wanna let it happen gonna have some coffee so I'll send you project what I record with and I'll just copy that this is probably not the way to do it so I'll just copy that control C I'll paste it by sequence one control V so that is the metadata it's gonna save like that <coughs> Excuse me. then I have two screens I have this one that shows my video on but I have it on the second screen it's just easier to edit that way so I'll um, I'll probably put it this side for you guys for now um, let me just close that down set it over there so I will go ahead and drag the video and the audio in let's just do a separate one so um, I don't I, I don't go through there I don't go open uh, or get my files for you yeah. I'll just open this I open on the other screen some files that needs to remain private I will go to my music that's where my recordings are so I'll take untitled one put that in there I'll 
go to my castle clash folder it's all the recordings let's say there's one over there place that in there I will place it on the timeline here um, you can either keep existing settings or you can change it either one I just changed the sequence settings and then um, that is more if you do like 4k video and you want to keep the 4k video I don't do it 4k so and then I will place that I will find the I am recording there was a clap in there so let me do that because it's two different ones so so I do when I start recording I clap okay and I line that up with whatever happens in the video so I'll see myself I'll clap and I'll go to that point and that is the audio lined up and then you just edit and if you export you say file um, export media uh, H264 and then you go down to I I do it in 1080p 9 uh, 29 frames of 30 frames a second and I'll just say export and once you start exporting you pull in code you wait till it's done when I've done that let me just close everything once I've done that now I use this app Called handbrake which is absolutely incredible boys if you don't know about this you better get it so I'll take a video file I'll drop it in there and I'll start so this video file is 779 megabytes as you can see over there large why when this program is done the presets or if you download it the default presets are ready to go this is always like that for me so you just select where you want to put it it will pick up what file format and everything it will just do it automatically and you just say start you must first select obviously you have to select the destination I'll say browse it will give me a best destination I'll type the name I'll say start encoding it starts the encode and once it's done it's in that destination and it will compress it down like a 700 megabyte file which will never be that small unless it's an extremely short video when you um, export it from Premiere Pro but usually a 10 minute video is around um, I don't know around 3 gig depending on the amount of edit but if it's a straightforward thing no editing whatever it's about 2.5 gig and it will come out as a 250 to 380 megabyte file once it's compressed to this that just makes the amount of data I use less and um, so that is how I do my things I hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video Goodbye.